This is my attempt at doing a wood stove. It's my first attempt. I've watched lots of videos. I've done a bit of reading and I think I know what I'm doing. So what I've done, gone and done is I searched around Ikea and all the stores and everything for bits and pieces and I ended up buying certain things and then I saw this. This is a tiffin. Now I'm in Kuwait and tiffins are easy to get hold of because they are in every other supermarket. But this is the tiffin that the Indians use to take their food and stuff for lunch uh, when they go to work. And this one in particular is a thermos tiffin. So it has a double layer of metal in the bottom and in the lid. Now if I open this lid up, get this. And inside there's a pot where they have, I don't know, sauce. And then another pot where they might have another sauce. And then in here they put the rice. Lovely jubbly. Now this only cost me three dinars. Nine dollars, six quid, however you want. And I am going to make a wood stove or a wood burning stove. Um, <coughs> so my idea was that as this is a double skin thing, I would cut away the layers. So what I've done, and I've done this already, is I've used my Dremel and I've cut away this inner layer, the top here where it was welded together, all the way around, and it's given me another one, another pot which sits in there nicely. Lovely jubbly. So the plan is, is that I will drill some holes in this all the way round. I will drill some holes in this all the way round. And then I'll have a nice wood burning stove, a couple of pots, one fits in there, one fits in there, and a lid. Now what I might even do is I notice that this lid has got a double skin on it. So I might, where it's welded together, get my Dremel again, and I might go round it and separate these two bits and then drill a hole in this inner bit, <coughs> which will sit on there nicely when the fire's burning. And then I've also got a lid and a nice little handle. Now, to be honest, it's probably a little bit big for going hiking and stuff, but I'm only going fishing with it, so it'll do. Um, I'll undo it. No, I've already cut away and I've already marked up the holes. So I'm going to do some 5 mil holes, but the first thing is I need to use a centre punch. Now I'm in Q8 and there ain't no proper tools in Q8, so I used a nail and a bit of wire. I've it round, don't really need a bit of wire. Uh, and then I just went round with a hammer and marked them. Because drilling them on that will be really difficult to get it nice and neat because it will just slip everywhere. So now I've got it centre punched all the way around, I'm going to use a pilot hole to drill it and then I'm going to use my step bit to give me the size of hole I want. So these will just be five, five to six mil holes around here and then around here and then on this one I'm probably going to do four 12 mil holes. I'm not going to do too many holes at the moment, I'm not going to make them too big because I don't want to mess it up the first go, otherwise I'll have to use my Dremel again, which was uh, not too easy. Let's see how we go. So here we are, my tiffin. I've drilled the holes. Let's open the lid up. Take the little pots out. So you can see that I've drilled 8mm holes with my step bit. All the way around there, just evenly spaced. And then on the inner one, I've drilled some 4mm holes. Evenly spaced all around the top. And then around the bottom, same again, just four mil holes. And then I've built a, <coughs> drilled a few holes there, let some air in straight through the bottom. Um, and hopefully the ash, any ash that falls through there, will land in the bottom of the pot. Lovely jubbly. Put it back together. And go outside and put some fire in it, lovely jubbly.
probably go and look for some more bins. somewhere dark using the handle and twig. Dark so the camera can see it getting the afterburn on there and it's secondary burn. Looks pretty good. And there's hardly any smoke coming off. I'm quite pleased. So pleased. I think I'll go and buy another one. Moved it back into the light. Let's see. Let's put a few more twigs in. Let's see how. So, got the fire going, and it's a little bit windy, which is okay, but it seems like the second burn, the top holes I've got, they seem to be working okay. I uh, really need to put a pot on it and boil some water, but I've got a plan for a topping, which I might do in my next video. So what I've done is I've been and bought another one of these tiffins, because I'm going to make another one as well. Um, so that's pretty cool. Pleased, good stuff. Well happy with that. So I've got a little fire going and the second burn goes nicely. Um, there's no smoke coming off that at all. Can't really see the second burn much at the moment. But it's cool. 